Well, I'm moving along on this wall here. This plywood here is bent pretty bad, but I got it screwed in pretty good from the outside. I'll see if I can shove the board up under here, screw it down. And uh, got a couple more studs here. I'll probably put one more over there so I can do this whole section. Just to try to do the best we can, I can shove one up under that piece of MDF, I think. I'll give that a try. Well, that's all done. It's uh straight across the top got those two down good and screwed through the bottom that whole corner there's kind of messed up but uh, I didn't really make this too much of a load bearing I got a stud in here it's about halfway up halfway down and I got it screwed to this back wall And I've got the top of the board there screwed up into that uh, MDF. This join here is pretty good. I'll have to cut that board there to put another one in the corner. But basically, whole wall's done. Now I can fire up the paint roller. And see what we got. How interesting this is going to be. Probably not very.
it for today got that shelf in and screwed down and painted I think I'll probably take this one here probably put it above it I don't know what I'll put on it but uh, it's all done and flat and painted again. I can eventually fix this little hole over here. But uh, the big score was my friend Tom brought me this ladder. Well, that's 15 feet or something. We barely get it in. But I got up there and wiggled that board around. It's rotten halfway back so really shouldn't be too much trouble to reinforce that I got enough tuba sixes there and uh, enough tuba fours I can run braces on it plug it up and the good thing about that ladder is I can it's long enough to I can get up on top of it with it and uh, it was an expensive ladder. He says he only uses it, you know, once, twice a year. Doesn't have a place to store it, so that'd be fine. I can lay it down here on the floor. And uh, but anyway, that's the last tool I need for that. So tomorrow, we'll be trying to fix that stuff that ought to be kind of an interesting job Here we are today I'm going to try to fix this uh, bad thing and get a little closer look at it and well, this board is really rotten all the way back to here thinking about doing is putting a plate about two foot long on each side of this and another two by six to replace this rotten 
stuff. And then a two by six along along that face plate and bracing it down onto this. So have to get a sawzall and get up here and try to cut this off. Pull this one board out of here. And then this one, it's crushed a couple inches. No. And it's all so rotten. I guess first thing is just try to cut this off to see what it looks like. these two. Hopefully that will give me some strength. So. six out but in the meantime now this is a carpenter's hammer 
thinner. This is about 10 or 12 ounces. These nails take a framing hammer, which is a lot heavier. So now I can cut this off and uh, put my 2 to 6 across there. And then I can put in my patch. Okay. three holes in this to uh, <coughs> start those bits and now I'm going to try to put that vertically across that uh, right where the top of the ladder is uh, it's rotten pretty good but I could probably get some screws in there to, to hold it on both ends where it's not so rotten and I've used these uh, three inch screws with a torx bit head so I'll be able to get them in now I just have to crawl up there and try to hold that and uh, I think I'll move my ladder down a little and over to the side so I can uh, lean it on that stud that's the idea there. got it in and uh, that end is flush with the top so now I gotta nail it and then I'll try to try to move this piece here up so let's take a floor jack screw a couple two before us together put it up against it I just have to jack it up about an inch I put three big screws in it there, so that's probably good enough. So anyway, I got that up. Looks like it's pretty close. Now I'll uh, 
call it there and put a few screws in it. So what we're going to do is we're trying to get this mess up in there. We're going to push it up into the corner. Which one? Which one more? All dead water.
Here's my setup. I got a jack there. This is in an angle holding that. I've got it started on that cross board or the two plates. I'm going to have to knock those other ones out of the way. Uh, but now I'm going to have to pull this jack back and see if it'll uh, some content out of it. Let's see if I can turn my thing. And see if I can get you a little video of what we did up there. So that's straight and flat. The rest of it I can I can brace. And uh, fix these uh, holes here. And, uh, my wife was a big help holding stuff. This was uh, not a one man job. So I can screw those, uh, I don't know where this can be pointed. Looks like it's looking good. Oh, there it is. So I can screw those screws in there. That'll hold it. And uh, I might have it a little high right there. I don't care. If it's high, it won't leak. If it's low, it makes a leak, and then it leaks. And then I'll figure out some way of putting these uh, two side braces in. There's one that's hanging there and I knocked the other one out. I'll cut some more boards and try to do those. This will be all solid and then I'll just put a few pieces of two by six up in there and plug those holes. And then later I'll have to go outside and put another piece of plywood on the outside. But that should fix this pretty solid. Well, we got a stringer here. It's 21 and an eighth. And I cut it just a little bit big. So it'll jam in. Toenail this from one side and uh, should go in that hole right there. Alright, I'm not gonna put this board in exactly the same place as the other one was because I have to toenail both sides of it. So I'm gonna put it off just a little bit.
<clears throat> well, I decided to put the uh, the reinforcing two by six in here first. Before I did that side strut, this is a good piece of redwood. Probably lasts a long time. Basically, landlords don't really care. I've got it sticking all the way outside. It's pretty bad too. Well, they're all pretty bad, but I should put another another two by six plate along this top section here, just like I did that one. Fix those three too. Well, oh, maybe another day. Uh, for now, I'll try to get this uh, last stringer in right there. And uh, then fix the hole. It should be all right. This one, I'm just going to try to nail it. Because again, it's not, a, it's really not a, a structural deal. so much strength anymore. I think one more toenail in here. I'm gonna call this one good. That's good. Pull my jack board out. I'll use these screws to 
Put a couple more in here. Bottoms flush across here. I'm just sitting on my tube of six here. So that's plenty strong. Looks like I took my tape downstairs again. I'll cut one more piece there for to plug this big hole here. And I'll just uh, kind of, yeah, I need to replace this hole. Need to put another big reinforcement across there. This this is the main main support. And it's pretty rotten right there. So I think that's what I'll do. I'm gonna put one more two by six in there. And uh, I am for trying to stop the leaks. That's good enough. But some already here, and I got the boards and screws, and I can see this this stringer here is really rotten. It's down about a half an inch. So that's what I need to do is go ahead and fix that one a little better. Because that is the main support beam. And I might as well try to try to fix it while I'm here. And since I've kind of got the technique and I got enough wood, it'd be better that I fix that rather than just call it good. It is good for me, but another hour of fixing it, and it'll be good for the for the owner of the place in many years. These over here are they're kind of rotten too. 